Okay, next step in our troubleshooting would be um, this specific case. So we can see the Wacom driver should be installed. Um, we see the Wacom desktop center icon down here, but again, the pen is not working. It's not moving the cursor. And if we, for example, open the Wacom desktop center, we see that window that no device connected. However, um, we can fix this also with a few simple steps. Um, the key area to do this is again the security setting in the system preferences. So I go there, system preferences, go to security and privacy. And here we have two things we should check first of all. Again, on the left, we click on accessibility. And usually if the driver installation was successful, there should be the Wacom IO manager in here. As we could see, it is not in this window. And then check the second topic, which is input monitoring. And as well, after a successful driver installation, there should be the Wacom tablet driver in here. None of both are in these windows, either in input mo monitoring nor in accessibility. And to make the driver work, we just have to do again one step. We don't have to enter anything in accessibility. So we skip that one. We go again to input monitoring and enter the Wacom tablet driver manually. This is quite easy. First of all, we click on the lock to allow us to make changes, enter my password, credentials, and now clicking on the plus icon here to manually add the Wacom tablet driver to the input monitoring window. So add an application, click here. I am now in my applications folder. And in the application folder, I scroll down to Wacom tablet, click here, and you see a couple of icons. You can see an icon for Wacom desktop center, Wacom display setting, and Wacom tablet utility. However, we don't see the Wacom tablet driver. And this is because this specific file is hidden by the operating system by default. And to allow us to see this one, uh, there is a specific keyboard shortcut on macOS which is command, shift, and dot. And as soon as I enter this shortcut, you will see another folder popping up in the Finder window. It's called dot tablet. And if I click on that one, I again see my list of um, driver items, which is firmware updater, tablet driver, upgrade helper, Wacom tablet driver, and Wacom touch driver. The one we need here for our Intuos tablet is the Wacom tablet driver. If you, for example, have an a tablet which comes with multi-touch functionality like our Cintiq Pro models or the Intuos Pro. You, for this, the Wacom Touch driver might be relevant, but for the Intuos tablet and the pen only, we choose Wacom tablet driver. Okay, we mark this one and click on open. And now we get a, a message from the operating system. We can click on later here as well. And what we see now in our privacy tab, input monitoring, we have a Wacom tablet driver entry, which is checkmarked with a blue box here. So everything should work. However, we are still missing the entry in accessibility. This doesn't matter. This IO manager entry will be added automatically after we have restarted our Macintosh. So let's do this. So let's close that window and restart our Mac so I've just restarted my Mac and what you could see here now, directly after the restart, again, the operating system window pops up and is asking um, the Wacom IO manager element to take control of your Wacom pen. And again, don't click on deny here. Please go to open system preferences. And in security and privacy, you will see you are directly in the accessibility tab we have, we have seen previously. And now we can see that the Wacom IO manager is part of this list. However, we also see that the checkbox is not active. So we have to do this as a final step. First of all, click again on the lock, enter credentials, and then just tick the checkbox and enable the com.wacom IO manager. Click on the lock again, close that window and we are finally done. So basically to make sure that it really works as expected, have a last final restart and then your Wacom tablet driver and the Wacom tablet should work as expected. Thanks for watching.